What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Scott. Welcome to the Scott Report. Today, I'm bringing you that live reaction for Yojo Sinki episode 10. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys heard the news already, but, and it may not exactly be related to this series, but Overlord's getting a season two. That is freaking awesome. And the only reason I bring Overlord up with Yojo Sinki is because of the vibes that I get from the series. Also, remember way back in like episode two, it was that little bit of promotion. It's been promotional images with Tanya and Ains on posters. And at the end of the compilation film of Overlord, they announced that it's going to be a season two. That is awesome. Now, for Yojo Sinki itself, came out late as hell. I mean, it came out at like 12 a.m. Pacific. So I can imagine everybody else. So that's why we're doing this today, and yeah, it's still kind of late because hey, it's Saturday afternoon, evening, wherever the hell you are on the map. So I'm ready to get it in. I cannot wait to get to this episode because we saw Tanya getting shot straight into the line of battle, straight up with a missile or a bullet or whatever you want to call it. Cannot wait to see where this is going to lead us with this episode. We're probably two episodes left. I don't think it's 13. I believe it's only 12 for this series. It's getting to that sunset where a lot of things are about to start ending right now. And you know, the winter season, a lot of things that were bad at first started picking up near the end. Yojo Sinki, though, for the very least part, has been consistent. So now I think it's really about to go down with being X's plan, being put in motion, and Tanya trying to fight against it. Look like she got an adversary that could be coming up. They're facing better mages. I just hope this is an all-out battle this week. So... For those of you who are not familiar, my live reactions, there's no audio, there's no video, but there is a timer at the bottom of the screen so you can keep up with where I am on the episode. Watch it on that Crunchy or Greatness or wherever you want to find it. And we're about to get it in in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, start though. So we got some people on a boat. They're pretty screwed, probably. The moment they realize they lose, they'll sign a peace treaty, so. They have no faith in their opponent. They blessing bullets? That is a first. I've never seen that. Oh, this guy got his patch on his eye now. Sue. And I just thought about something. His daughter's name Mary. So basically his daughter's name is Mary Sue. That's pretty awesome. That opening. Ah, oh, that myth and Roy greatness. Such a great opening. My favorite part. <laughs> Studio nut going in, man. Jingo Jungle. Let's go. All right, let's get the game plan.
Ah, uh, it was called Door Knockers. Okay. March with magical camouflage. Remove equipment and respond swiftly. Tanya with the strategy. So basically, they about to get in, get out. The distraction's already been there. Let's do our job and move, gentlemen. Uh, 1925, May 25th. Yeah, if you guys start talking about money at some point when you're talking about war, because in the end, that's what everything's about, right? Prolonging a war may cause economic stress. So, yeah, the longer you stretch this war out, the more money people got to pull out of their pockets. So, after a while, they're going to start getting pressure from higher ups to finish this. Man, those little bullet rocket things did a lot of damage, though. Oh, we about to get some Metal Gear Stealth in? Yo! Nice. Yeah, these guys want to end this war quickly. This guy's just drinking tea. He's like, I'm not even paying you guys any attention. Told you what we're going to do. It's my squad. I do what I want. So you have to wonder how much being X is actually manipulating some people behind the field, too. Explosion spill? Yes. These officials are not happy by this retreat decision that was made. <laughs> That's a nice tactic, though. Cause explosions on the inside, throw them off. Then attack from the outside. <laughs> Look at that face. Mission complete. Of course, all Italian scenes are going in. And we're out. So they destroyed everybody at Ryan.
and destroy the enemy command? Look at them now, they're like, oh, oh man, these guys are beastly. Look at her surveying the damage right there. That's an alcove shot of everybody flying by. Operation Shock and Awe is complete. So this guy's basically like, I told you not to doubt me. It's still risky nonetheless, because it's like I said, war is all about money. People start losing money, then decisions are going to be made. So these guys are about to push further. And you know as good as Tanya's team's doing, they're just going to keep putting them back into the fray. That's already been established. I got a feeling you shouldn't be lighting that cigarette. Oh, shit. All it takes is one bad smoke and this whole thing is going up in flames. That's savage. This guy's just looking at the detonator like any time now. Who's jamming the radios, I wonder? Damn! <laughs> that entire base has got level. Damn, he even got to the people up in the air. How big was that explosion? Like, how much did they put down there? Damn. Operation and destruction of enemy encampment. There's nothing left but cinder down there. And now on top of that, you got troops coming in. This is just a straight up defeat. Coming in with the tanks after an explosion. They jammed the radios, they blew up the base, blew up all the surrounded bases. This is a very clean victory, I have to say. Operation Lockpick. I'm just going to van some more to another place. <laughs> open sesame. I 
Operation Revolving Door. What does that? What does that do? Nice. So the enemy, not the enemy. I'm sorry. The tanks that they use are going to come around in a circle, flank, and then make their way back. It looks like. So kind of going around like a carousel door. One strike that'll end the war. It is nothing left. They're just destroying all of their bases, all their communication towers. About to do an underwater strike too? No, that's a submarine they were going to lay low on. <laughs> she was like, any, 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 you idiots trying to touch Victoria? Better not. Even Tanya is shocked by how well this is going. Break it down. So the retreat was all part of this big revolving door plan. And the more property they started to take, they started gradually sending another squad around the other way through the back. So they funneled the enemy just into like one little circle. Nice. And this squad is growing on Tanya too. I mean, I know she's just trying to basically live a better life or quiet life but now she's looking at everybody rallying with her and you're seeing that smile every time they get excited she is too she likes leading them into battle Damn! I just got sniped, man. Headshots. There's nothing they can do right now. Retreat to where, though? Because they're just coming around the other side. That's right, they can't retreat, not with this um, revolving door. That's messed up. Did you see a tank when you're trying to run away? You're not going to get away from that. You just better put your arms up and hope they, hope they let you go. Oh, well, there's that. You know, that's a little bit brutal to shoot people with a tank. That's just... Jeez. Damn. They got dudes out here with incinerator guns. They are not playing games. Dude tried to run and you just saw some big ass barrage of fire just turn them to dust. It's a savage attack, man. Victory to the Empire. 
So pretty much now he just gotta wipe up anybody that's still alive. It was like, let's get these drinks after this. <laughs> Ty is like, I drink coffee. It's not going to do me any good. First large scale en entrapment. She's really beginning to like war now. It's kind of, that's a little bit of development for this character. Because she's like, if we can just win this battle, then I'll be at peace anyway. Up to San Diego Mages. To get some mage on mage action. John Bulls. <laughs> Let's go. Damn, did they fight them? Grins! Did he die? Yo. And Sue was right in the head of it, too. One enemy down. Did he kill Grants? Did we just get a casualty in this series? They are not playing games anymore. Wow. You, you're going to leave us on that cliffhanger? Really? You're going to leave us like that this week? This series usually does after credits, though. It was funny. It only had, it had a new ending theme for, like, one episode. This is good, because I kind of like this one better. The other one was chill, though. That was a wild episode. Man, this guy Sue came back with a vengeance. Already declaring war by taking out Grants. I mean, he's probably dead. It looked like that shield shattered. I cannot wait to see him and Tanya go one-on-one. -on -one. I wonder if she still has his gun. Like the gun she's using right now, I wonder if that's his. All right, here we go with the extra credits. Just the rest of the squad sleep or was this before they went out? Oh, these are the people that didn't go with her. Oh, this is before, guys. That's Grants. Oh, damn. You look at that Victoria like, oh. You know, he like her, too. <laughs> she got a protection spell on her. Well, actually, she's doing it in her sleep, but. 
That's a hell of a sleepwalker. She's straight up almost activating spells while she's asleep. That's not good at all. See, but this is making me feel for Grants even more to see what type of character he is. And I'm glad that we got some development for um, other characters as well because after a while it just seems like Tanya was just wiping everybody away. But now we're seeing some other people in her battalion actually care about people. We're seeing some development with some of the other characters, which is good. And I know it's more material, so I hope this series is good enough to continue. And if it's not, I hope it at the very least gives us like an ending that we can live with. <sighs> because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sad to see it go. I mean, this was definitely one of the better series of the winter season. So that was a bananas episode. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, guys, because I still have to review Promise Neverland. So definitely let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments below. If you liked the video, go ahead and drop it a like. And if you want to hear more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As there's not a shortage of content for you to indulge on on this channel. And as I always say, you guys can be anywhere on YouTube right now. But you chose to listen to me. And I really appreciate that. So thanks for stopping by. On that note, it's your boy Scott signing out. See you soon.